<gasps> you do love me. Be patient, you dumbass. You can have one too later. And I bring that fire. Hey guys, welcome back to the magical world of the Miss and Mr. Gaming channel. Don't forget to like this episode, comment down below what your favorite part is, and subscribe with a friend. And today we are playing Pokemon something or other. What are we playing? Playing Pokemon Fire Red, Anna. Let's go. I realized that I did the introduction without actually waiting to see the game title screen, so I had no clue what we were playing at the beginning, not gonna lie. Doesn't matter. I mean, I totally knew what we were playing. What we're are committed. we, plebs up in here? Let's go. We're committed. You played this game before, Anna. I played this game? When did I play this game? Remember the first Pokemon game that you played one time? The one... The one that I said that you, didn't, the one you where never I was, finished Where I was trying to get Ponyta? I don't know. Press start. The Go one where play. I got Dragonair? Yes. You played the first eight badges, and then you didn't play the other eight badges? I got the credits. I know yeah, when the no, game finishes. No, the, I got yeah. the credits. I'm always gonna, um, you know, bring that up for Anna, and I never actually finished playing this game. But I'm gonna be playing this game today. Bro, I got the credits. I got the nostalgia up in here. I know how to play Pokemon. I know there, there's only like two buttons here, bro. Yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's wow, I was right about to read it. He just skipped through that. We're about to speed run up in here. Hello there. Glad to meet you. Um, welcome to, to the run. world of Perm Pokemon. I don't Proceeds yeah. to mumble through the first My dialogue. <laughs> mm, people of fishing completed to reef me as the Pokemon professor. If you're going to mumble it, no one's going to know what you're this saying. This is drunk Professor Oak, bro. Why is he drunk? Professor Oak's been through a lot, my dude. How much has he been through? This world is inhabited for a No, really, what has he been through? Tell me, what's he been through? called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon pets, others use it for battlings. For myself, I study Pokemon as a profession, whatever. I'm too old for this shit. But first, let me tell a little bit about myself. Alright. Let me tell you a story all about how my life got turned bipped upside down. Now tell me, are you a boy or are you a girl? Bro, it's freaking 2021, dude. But yeah, for this instance, I'm a boy. Uh, let's begin with your name. What is it? What's your name, son? Alexander Hamilton. That's not going to fit in the amount of character spaces that Ham they give you there. Hamil- No. Not bro, gonna, what if my name fit. was Hamilton? It's not going to fit. Bro, what the fudge is I this, bro? I don't think Alexander fits either. Try seeing Seven. if Alexander fits. How many letters does Alexander? Oh. So you're saying if somebody's called Alexander, he's not going to be able to fit? No, yeah, The only Alexander thing he's going to have is Alex and. Alex and who? <laughs> who? Alex and who? <laughs> Alexander and Hamilton doesn't fit. Dang. Dang. They'd have to be like Alex, but that's not the same thing. Bro. What if somebody takes pride in their name? What are we going to... I'm going to be Mr. Dang. Let's push the limits on how many characters there are. Does, I'm going to be does Mr. The, does the name Michael take up all of the all of it? M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Yeah, so Michael would use like the maximum amount. I'm going to be Mr. Should I be Mr.? I'm going to be Mr. What about Michelle? M-I-C-H-E-L-L. -L. No, it, it doesn't work. Anybody with long names is screwed, bro. Dang. All right. What about Charlotte? Start. No, no, we're not going to go down this rabbit Dang. hole. Dang. Right, so your name is Mr. Uh, yeah. All right, of course, of course, of course. This is my grandson. Hello, grandson. Fudge face is his name. Hello, He's been Fudge your rival face. since you. All right, what's his name now? Uh, new name. I'm gonna give it to. What, what do I? What do we call this douchebag? Douchebag. <laughs> Douche. Douchebag doesn't fit in there. Unfortunately. Douche. No, we can't call him douchebag. We have to be nice. Pro gamer sixty nine. <laughs> Let's call him pro. It doesn't fit, Anna. <laughs> no, but you can go PR game six. What? Pro G? <laughs> no. Uh, all right, we'll call this guy uh, uh, John Jin. Jin? Jin? Jinkies. Keys. Jinkle? Jin Jinkle. John Jacob Jinkleheimer Smith. His name Schmitz. is Jinkle, bro. That's my name yeah. too. Was it Jinkle? No. It's a stupid ass name. All right, fine. Why Jinkle. would you make it Jinkle? That's right. I remember now. His name is Jinkle. Because one time. <laughs> I remember freaking my son, you know, he was drunk. He's also a drunk like me. And uh, I had to go tinkle. No. 
<laughs> it was Christmas, and you know, he heard the jingle bells and just like, oh, the jingle, jingle, jingle bells all That's the way. That's not how you spell it. I don't know, whatever. It's bro. jingle with a G, he not jingle with a K. Uh, whatever. That's more like I had a, I was drunk and I really had to go bathroom, so I went to go tinkle, and then I heard some jingling outside, and I'm like, yo, my son's gonna be named Jingle, because I'm currently taking a tingle while listening to jingle bells. That's the stupidest name ever. Why did Mom, you make I'm leaving. It? Mom. Oh I'm my leaving. gosh, you're such a demanding three-year-old. I'm going out and venturing into the world. This is the very first Pokemon ever, my dude. You know what's something funny? Oh, I gotta go over here and they're gonna be like, no. In this particular... World, I'm a strong, independent man now. In this particular Pokemon game, I keep feeling like he's like... This is like a kid's attitude when he goes to preschool for the first time. <laughs> And they're like, okay, we're sending you off to preschool because I just can't even with you anymore and you need to get an education and start learning. Nobody going to stop me? And then the kid has like a little backpack and a little hat and everything and he Mom? goes off like super determined Mom. and like a, like almost aggressive like. Kind of like, kind of like Cartman in South Park. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. I'm leaving. Ma'am. Professor. Neighbor. What is it that Nobody he always, cares. I'm leaving. What is it that he always asks me? for? It's like I'm leaving. Cookies or something? Nobody gonna stop me? Fine, I'm leaving. <gasps> you do love me. <laughs> <laughs> you hey. forgot your cookie. Okay, bye. It's unsafe. Well, I'll put him on the living tall grass all the time, you dumbass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. Always take protection. That's what I tell all the dudes out there. How old is this kid? 11. <laughs> he doesn't even know about using protection at that age. <laughs> I know. Here, come with me. I don't mm. think you start learning about those type of things. Come so with me. I'm show you the ropes, kid. So you're come at least here. a teenager, right? When a man meets a lady... Oh my gosh, Kevin. man wants to show the lady some love, you can take protection. <laughs> Anyways. Jankle! Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting! Sounds like his old man. Actually, that's his old, old man. Dang. Jingle? Let me, let me think. Uh, oh, that's right. Told you to come. Just wait right there, you dumbass. Can you please address Jingle with the proper formalities? Yeah, mister, there are three Pokemon here. His correct name is John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Oh, shoot. I'm John Jacob You nailed it. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs captive. Pick one for your own bidding. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trader. Back in my day... I had all the Pokemons up in here. Back in mind that there's only 151. Now they got like freaking 900 or whatever shizzles. How the fudge am I supposed to remember all of those? Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, you dumbass. You can have one too later. We can't give you the exact weakness for the Pokemon he's going to choose so we know what Pokemon he chooses. Anna, what do you want to choose? Is it Squirtle? No. What? Is it Charmander? Yeah. Fire's my preferred Pokemon type. Or is it Bulbasaur? No. <gasps> Bulbasaur, though. It's Charmander. It's Charmander? If you want Bulbasaur, take Bulbasaur. Or Squirtle, bro. I mean... Squirtle. I like Charmander better. You like Charmander? Fine. The lady wants Charmander. But if you want, pick whichever one you want. All right, I'm going to go with Charmander. You I mean, that's not the one you wanted, though. <laughs> This is this guy's gonna be the most difficult to use for the first gym. But this one is so cute. All right, then fine. Pick Bulbasaur. Um, what's the first? Oh, whatever. Grim? Let's go with grass the cannon. Or grass or something. The can his cannon Pokemon, I think, is Charmander. You're just gonna have to get good and really. Also, work we're using super Fire hard. Red. So what the fudge? All right, we'll call him Charmander's right here. I got Charmander. Let's freaking go from Professor Oak. Let's do it. Do you want to give a nickname to this here Charmander? Yes. Baby, baby. What? what? You're my Charmander. Because you have a lot of charm. And I bring that fire. Yeah, you do. Oh, do you? <laughs> All right, what do we call this dude? <sighs> call him Lizard. Actually, why are you going to call him Lizard? I might just call him Lizard. Why are you going to call him Lizard? Why not? What's up with these naming skills? This is why you cannot pick the names for our future children. Boy, I'm going to call him Lizard. Should I call him Lizard? You want Lizard? Not particularly. What do you want me to call him? Um... Should it all be capital? It should all be capital, right? Phoenix. Because he rises from the ashes. Bro, he's not a bird. He's a damn lizard. But he rises from the ashes. He turns into a dragon, Anna. <gasps> Call him Toasty. Toasty? Because he can make the perfect s'mores. All right, we're going with Toasty. <gasps> Let's go with Toasty. Toasty. Oh, that's adorable. If anybody gets that reference Aww. that I just made, comment down below and I'll give you a bajillion internet points. 
There, toasty. Aw, he can make s'mores. Yo, has anybody ever drawn a Charmander like making s'mores and just hanging out? Oh, probably. Oh, that'd be so cute. I'll take this one then. Jinkle received the squirtle from Professor Oak. All right, cool. Bye. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> wow, Kevin. Wow. <laughs> Wait, mister, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Take on me. Take on me. Take me on. Take on me. Okay, you've watched it like three times at this point. What key? What key are we going in? You've modulated three times. I mean... There's no way that I was going to hit any of those I notes. can't. You, you, if you had stuck with my original key, maybe Bro, you would have. I've been freaking talking all freaking day. You modulated like the key three times. literally like three in the morning, bro. My voice can't go anywhere right but now. But you modulated through a higher key three times. I probably couldn't even hit those notes. Oh. Repeat sync as always. I probably could have hit those notes. Mister. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Mm -hmm. A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit the Pokemon against each other. Yeah? And the trainer that makes the other trainer's Pokemon faint and kills them then wins. Yo, do you know what? You kill a Squirtle. Is another word well, for sneakers? I was talking about it. You'll learn more from experience. For what? Do you know what another word for sneakers is? Tennis shoes? No, another word. Running shoes? No, another word. Shoes? Trainers. What? Trainers. Who calls them that? I don't know. Remember if it's uh, British English or American English, but I think it was probably British English. British English? Well, we don't talk like that, though. Yeah, I just remembered it just now because I saw the word trainer on the screen like so many times. Don't wag your tail at me, you dumb squirtle. Now watch squirtle. me whip and watch me nay, -nay. I don't want to watch you whip or nay, nay anything. And watch me whip, whip. Now your defenses fell. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> so you spent so much time whipping. You didn't even realize that I've been scratching you the whole time. But did he nay nay though? That's, that's what she said. Dang. Oh, well, Squirtle fainted. He died. Toasty Ugh. gained 70 experience points. Let's freaking go, Toasty. And he reveled. All the way up to level 7. Let's go to level 7. And he reveled Never in mind. the death of his opponent. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Mr. Got $80. Here, take my money. Dang. I wish I could just get 80 bucks from a little kid Her, when I was excellent. growing up. That would have been a lot of money. You earn prize money. You should always gamble your money away, kids. No, you shouldn't do that. That's I'm a very Pokemon bad idea. Grow. Pokemon Grow. Just gamble your money, kid. No, don't do that. Make but invest really part of your savings and take watch it money. grow and invest grow and grow over time. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle tough to toughen it up. Mr. Gramp, smell you later. Unless you're investing your savings in a savings account in the U.S. because then it won't grow. I'm out. Because they don't give you really good interest rates there. I'm out the to go into the real banks. world. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Look, look. What? Copy what I said on one of the... I don't give a shizzles. Bro, I know how to use Pokemon. Start Signs there. See? Useful. Anyways, I'm out. Oh, first Pokemon Dang. battle. Dang. It's a... Oh, 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 get him. No. Get him. No. Get him. No. Get him. No. It's not worth it. Get him. No. But catch him. No. Dang. How are you supposed to get good when you avoid all of your battles and you just don't fight? Why are you legit ignoring everybody? What? They're not trainers, Anna. Yeah. But there is one guy here that gives you an item, though. You have to fight every single person that you can possibly fight no. all the time. How are you supposed to be the very best that never, ever was when you don't even fight anybody I or anything? I want to be the very best. They don't say, I, I want to be the very best. I, they don't ever say, <laughs> they don't say, I want to be the very best from running away from all of my problems and fears. No. I think that's what they say. That's not what they say. Hey, look. All right. You want me to fight this guy? Yo, fight me. See the legend along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Palatown quicker that way. All right, freaking... Wow. If you're going to be a freaking weeb, then then don't fight me then. Dang. Yeah. Dang. <gasps> it's a Pidgey. Get him. <gasps> get him. I don't have Pokeballs. Get him. I don't have Pokeballs. Well, that's that's. I got nothing on me. Wow. Legit. I got I to gotta run. That's anticlimactic. No. This is anticlimactic AF, bro. All right. I, I got to go get Oak's Parcel or whatever. Oof. Yeah, have you ever played this game, bro? I thought you said I did, but you I did. don't remember playing this game. Yeah, you go over here, the guy's gonna be like, Oh, hey, dude, what are you I what thought are you the one for? that I played was in black and white. I don't Actually, remember playing it. this. 
No, you played... F- yeah, you played this one, Fire Red. I thought I was playing one that was in black and white. You've never played the original, Anna. You played this one. I don't remember playing this one, It Kevin. wasn't in black and white, Anna. I remember being in black and white, though. No, it wasn't, Anna. You're making false memories. You've never played that one. Are you sure? Yes. I remember being in black and you white. You played exactly this one. I don't remember seeing any of the Pokemon in color. I know for a fact that you played this one, Anna. Are you sure I played yes. it in color? Yes, you did not play the original. The original is, bro, you're not, you wouldn't have played that one. Well, Does I it, mean, I know that you got it for me and everything, but at the same time, I don't remember seeing any of this in color. It was all in color, Anna. I remember none of it being in color. I remember very clearly only okay. seeing black and white. So do any of your other memories, are they also in black and white? Yo, sometimes they are. Okay, then there you go. <laughs> I have this one memory one time about me being out in the rain and yelling and arguing because I actually had to argue with somebody IRL and I have this memory of it being in black and white because it was a super dark gray day but I know for a fact it wasn't in black and white because it was IRL and I was not seeing in black and white but I do remember thinking I have to have this argument I'm definitely going to do it outside in the rain because that is just more dramatic. And I was going through this phase where I wanted to be dramatic AF. Nice. It wasn't It wasn't too much stuff that I did dramatic. It was on, honestly just that one argument that I did out in the rain and that I thought this isn't worth it. I'm really wet and I just went back into my class. Huh. Yeah. Cool. Mm. So I j- I'm just getting something here. He's going to give me a Pokedex. I'm going to be getting a Pokedex. But you know what would be super romantic? What? Is like... Making out in the rain. Bro. I mean, we might get wet, but it'd be super cool. And also, if, if I was make wearing... out in the rain, we can make out in the rain. If I was wearing, like, a dress, which is, like, kind of fluffy, and then as it gets wet, it gets not so fluffy, I just feel like that'd be so cool. One time I had a friend that kind of had, like, the idea of, like, being out in the rain is cool. It is. It wasn't? It's really I cool. I told her, you're going to get sick. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's walk from our school all the way to the mall, and it's going to be lit. It's going to be awesome. We're going to walk and run in the rain. It's going to be great. I'm like, first of all, no running. Second of all, we're just going to get wet, okay? Dang, you were really a bit of a killjoy then. You definitely wet. didn't want to know me when I was younger. No, we went. I went. I went. We went out in the rain. Do you know what happened one time? And she got sick, and I didn't. So, Dang. well, there you go. <laughs> Probably because you went into an air conditioned room right afterwards, you noobs. Here, you know what? You know what I did one time? Well, okay, what? multiple times. But I was that person growing up where I convinced a lot of people around me that we needed to reconnect with nature. I went full hippie for like a while. <laughs> we need to reconnect with nature. Uh, I one time went almost one whole year wearing absolutely no shoes. One whole I, year wearing no shoes? I Dude. only wore sandals when I went to church. That's it. I didn't wear any other shoes. So I just walked around barefoot the whole entire time. And yeah. um, it was because I was having trouble finding, uh, partially because I was having trouble finding shoes in my size, apparently. I don't know. I remember that being a thing. And because I didn't have a whole lot of, uh, we didn't have a whole lot of money to actually go and buy shoes. And you outgrow shoes pretty fast when you're younger. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I went through this phase where I just encouraged a lot of people to reconnect with nature. So... <laughs> I went on this one mission where I went and I said, you know what? I'm going to convince 25 people to take off their shoes and walk barefoot for at least 10 minutes. Yeah. And that was like my mission. And I had set these little goals for myself in my notebook, okay? And usually the people that were the easiest to convince were couples that were teenagers. Of course. Because if you got the girl to feel like it was a great idea, then she would connect with the dude and then the dude would reluctantly follow whatever the girl was saying so once i figured that out i went almost exclusively after couples who were teenagers i was younger than them to convince them to um take their shoes off and reconnect with nature and i'm getting a mankey do we need to talk about this i'm getting (laughs) i'm getting a mankey do we need it should we get that checked out no (laughs) uh this is Is uh, get it stay in the ball you freaking dumb pokemon is it supposed to be in the ball yeah I'm gonna, that either, sounds a bit painful. He's gonna evolve into a prime ape. So I'm gonna get my team. I don't. I, I guess I'm just thinking off of uh, the top of my head. I want this Charmander's gonna stay, mm-hmm. obviously. I'm gonna get the Mankey, and I'm gonna get a Needle King. 
Okay. We're going to do the manky panky and turn ourselves around. What? You never heard that song? And we don't talk about our our, our manky panky <laughs> on, you know, on episodes. That's that's private information. Oh my gosh. Let's just keep it in the bedroom. Oh, I was going to tell you my rain <laughs> what? story. What rain story? We might have to leave that for next time though because no, no, no. I think this is time. No, no, no. It's super fast. I Get got a this. Nickname to the captured manky. Oh, wait, wait. What's the nickname for this guy? It's really fast. All right. You can nickname him while I tell you my story. Ready? All right. Okay. Okay. So there was this kid that I knew and. Kid. Um, he just. <laughs> kid. You're going to call him kid? Mm hmm. Nice. Okay. So there was this kid that I knew and he was terrified of going outside in the rain. And I said, you know what? We need to go outside in the rain, live a little bit, but not just go outside in the rain. We need to go outside in the rain with shorts and like. I went in like a tank top or something and barefoot. And we need to run through the rain on cement that was also covered in moss. Did we were get an running infection? through the we went running through the rain and I told him at one point, don't run in this area because it is slippery, right? Because I could identify where the moss was, right? He couldn't. He immediately proceeded he nodded and then immediately proceeded to run right in the area where I told him not to run. He went flying in the air his feet went super high up he fell directly backwards on his head got this really big lump he also where he fell there was this drain pipe of water that just fell on him so he Oof. was being waterboarded by this water that Oof. was just falling on his face and he was super stunned and he ended up getting a minor concussion bro like a dum dum and i was like <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you okay? Was my first reaction. My second reaction was, I told you not to run there. And his reaction was, uh. And then his second reaction was, uh. And then his third reaction is, yeah, but you're never right about anything. Wow. <laughs> well, now he learned. Anyways. Thank you guys for coming to the Mr. Mr. Gaming channel. Stay tuned for the next episode. And if you want us to play more of this and continue our playthrough or whatever of Fire Red, then freaking let us know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining us on the Miss and Mr. Gaming channel. I know that Kevin already did the outro, but I decided to redo the outro. Don't forget to like this episode, comment down below what your favorite part is, and subscribe with a friend. Till next time, guys, we love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Okay, bye!